It's Jen here with Senator Nina Turner. How are you today? I'm fine, Jen. How are you? Doing great. That was a wonderful speech, and it seems like Bernie is trying to take the term democratic socialism and make it accessible for people. Do you yes. think that the country is ready for that? I do. It was absolutely riveting, and as you know, those who listened to the speech, he wrapped it in the fundamental principles of the Economic Bill of Rights that President FDR had started in 1944, and then he sealed it with what the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. talked about in terms of what is needed to turn the tide in this country and really put this nation on notice that we have socialism for the wealthy and we have rugged individualism for the poor. It was true when Dr. King said that in the 60s. It was true when President FDR was trying to forge a different a different path and it is true in the 21st century and that is why I am so happy that Senator Sanders said that he has a 21st century version of what President FDR started in 1944. And what about uh, those Trump voters who have their own economic anxieties and they hear the message of well what about the freedom to have a good job, a living wage, health care for everyone. Do you think that they can be swayed I do. And you know, the senator ended that portion of the speech by saying that if you are a veteran and you are homeless, that is not really freedom at all. And, and if we all, no matter what walk of life we are, can really wrap our minds around that, that one of the biggest stains on this country, and there are many, but to have any veteran that is homeless is something that we can never stand for or tolerate because they fight for the very freedoms that we hold dear. So whether it is veterans or your mom or your dad or your neighbors or their children, people suffering every single day, people live by people who suffer every single day and not for the lack of not trying. The working poor, it is a real thing and the senator really addressed that. It is the foundation of why he is running. And when he says that 99 out the, out 99 is always bigger than 1%. He really means that in everybody that's in that 99%, whether you consider yourself a Republican, a Libertarian, a Democrat, no party, or just, just a flat out American, you are part of that. And Senator Sanders also uh, talked about continuing FDR's economic message. He, he pulled some amazing quotes from Martin Luther King Jr. And he also brought in his, his own thoughts and feelings. And I remember, I believe it was uh, Fesh Shakir who posted a picture of him in his hotel room speaking to a service worker about her life. It seems like the senator speaks to people where they are in their lives. Um, and I'm sure you see that on the campaign trail all the time. All the time, and it is so genuine. You know, it's not just what our campaign manager saw the senator up to when it was time to go, but just recently we visited Denmark, South Carolina, and he went into the home of Paula Brown and Eugene Smith, who have been keeping a lab of water, you know, collecting water every single year and labeling it to, to show the dirty water that they and so many of their neighbors were forced to drink or bathe in. And I remember like it was yesterday when the senator walked into their home, Miss Brown, just tears welled up in her eyes and she said, I've been fighting this fight for such a long time. And no, I didn't think that anybody believed us. And to have you, Senator Bernie Sanders, and my living room and my house means so much to me. So what people see is what they get. This is real. This is coming from the senator's heart. I always talk about him as being the person who has heart-soul agreement. He has that agreement. And it is that heart-soul agreement that is going to make him the best president, the type of president that we need in this moment. That's how he opened up his speech, that the weight of this moment is such that we need a president that is willing to stand up unabashedly and take on Wall Street, take on the pharmaceutical industry, take on the oil, oil industry, take on the mega industries that make their wealth, not an honest way, but they make it towards unfettered greed on the backs and the necks of the everyday people. My mama was one of those everyday people. My grandmother was one of those everyday people. The people that I am privileged to be able to talk to all across this country, they represent from Iowa to Ohio, they represent those everyday people. And Senator Sanders is running for those everyday people. Not me, he says all the time. This is about us. I've been speaking with people online waiting to get in uh, for a few hours and a common thing you kind of hear from Bernie voters is let's finish what we started. We're going to win this election 
because we are putting together the strongest grassroots campaign in the history of American politics. I'm live, sorry. Hey everybody, look at Status Quo is out doing, what do they call this, uh, reporting. We the people, we got to be running Bernie as an independent regardless now. Why is it that all of the money is going to the 1% and, you know, we're, our wages are staying flat? I mean, everybody's working hard. We're all going for the American dream, but it's not happening. Does the United States, uh, if you were president, have to look at some of the things it's doing to spark radicalization? Yeah, I think it, it is important to look at the ideology that is driving um, different terrorist groups. Take a look outside of New York at the plight of the working man and woman of this country. And we gotta, we gotta keep 100 and respect and, and lift up our black women. Most of them putting in that work was black women. You know, what, is, what does it mean to be a leader? You know, everybody in the front ain't a leader. You judge a leader by the work that he, he or she produces. We have a lack of leadership because we have people who are trying to force other people to be leader. He's going to need people actually correcting the record because I think a lot of people, particularly old, some older, more establishment voters, you know, think he's a socialist boogeyman and they're going to need people knocking on their door to explain, no, he's not. He's just trying to do basically what like FDR did. Where would we be if JFK said, uh, going to the moon is a pie in the sky? I don't know. No. We make the decision to do it and then we figure it out. Bernie Sanders is at least coming out saying, hey, this is what I'm about. I've been saying the same thing throughout my entire 40 years of politics, and I have not detracted from that stand. Kimberly Ellis is an African-American woman running for chair, and she almost beat Eric Bauman two years ago. And a lot of people think she did beat Eric Bauman, that he cheated to win. We have socialism for the wealthy, and we have rugged individualism for the poor. It was true when Dr. King said that in the 60s, and it is true in the 21st century. And that is why I am so happy that Senator Sanders said that he had the 21st century version of what President FDR started in 19. So is this the first Bernie Sanders rally? It is. Okay. So what? I'm a convert. I think when the debates come around, I'd like to see him go a lot harder against his uh, opponents. I'd like to see him like call them out for the corruption that is very obvious. This is why status quo exists. All the corporate folks have left. We're still here. I want somebody come in that's not owned, that doesn't owe anybody anything, and get our country back, get our country right again. We have seen throughout history far too many examples of how U.S.-led regime change have been driven, frankly, by corporate interests. Become a member of the status quo. We appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all so much. Like, I'm literally doing my dream job because of y'all. Now seeing Mexican kids getting deported without their parents, and it's just like, it's just like not okay. I'm just like really disrespected. So I hope the next president does something good about this. Well, your personal opinion is based on working in finance, not actually going out into the country and seeing what's actually happening. Out front tonight, chaos at the White House. President Trump's deputy chief of staff, his communications director, is... Just because of their connection to President Trump. And I know you've been saying... We learned recently that Donald Trump threatened to sue his former schools if... Tired of hearing about Trump 24-7? Become a member at statuscoup.com for only $10 a month. Click the notification. With your help, we can start the media revolution. And, uh, before Bernie went on stage, I spoke with his supporters online here, uh, and you really get that feeling from